Meredith Vieira is one of the most recognizable journalists on television, having earned a long list of credentials throughout her 46 years in the media industry. Vieira was the youngest correspondent ever hired by CBS's news magazine program 60 Minutes in 1989. She worked there for two years after having her first child. When Vieira had her second child, she was let go, as then-producer Don Hewitt wouldn't allow her to work part-time, a decision she understandably felt was unfair. She later explained, I don't think you could get away with it today. And also, that was Don Hewitt. I mean, he was the king. 60 Minutes was the crown jewel in the network. And so he could probably do no wrong. He was a very, very powerful man. And I made my peace with Don after. Though Vieira was unceremoniously let go from 60 Minutes, she quickly found her footing, becoming one of the original panelists on The View and then co-anchoring The Today Show with Matt Lauer from 2006 through 2011. While starring on the show, Vieira and Lauer developed a solid rapport and friendship, and they were popular with viewers too. However, when Vieira left the Today Show, many viewers wondered if their personal relationship had been affected, especially after Lauer's firing in 2017 for allegations of sexual misconduct. In an interview with People magazine two years after Lauer was let go from the show, Vieira described how finding out about the sexual misconduct allegations against Lauer felt like a gut punch. She explained, I was in LA and my phone started going off at 4 a.m. I didn't know what to make of all of it. Vieira said the news was especially painful because of the supportive working relationship they had hosting the show. She added, Matt and I were very close. He was very kind to me. We both have similar senses of humor. We're both sarcastic. Vieira went on to say that she never felt uncomfortable working with Lauer, recalling, There was totally joking around, but I never took it as anything. We were like brother and sister. If somebody were a fly on the wall in any newsroom, they'd be shocked shocked by the language and by the gallows humor. You made a joke because otherwise you'd implode when you're covering something. When pressed, Vieira declined to comment on the status of their friendship at the time, but did call the whole situation, quote, just sad, while adding, it's been rough in a lot of places with a lot of people. While Meredith Vieira wouldn't define her relationship with Lauer during the interview with People magazine, she did eventually reveal to the Los Angeles Times in August 2019 that she was surprised by the allegations and is no longer in contact with him. She explained, This was a guy I thought I knew. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in television. There are people who have affairs. This was a different level. This wasn't that. A few months after Vieira's interview with The Times, a source told People that Vieira and Lauer never spoke again since his firing. I do believe in second chances too, but, at, you know, people, there are consequences to actions. This bombshell came amid reports that Vieira actually played an important part in bringing Lauer's sexual assault and misconduct allegations to light. It began when Variety published an excerpt from Ronan Farrow's book, Catch and Kill, Lies, Spies, and a Conspiracy to Protect Predators. In his book, Farrow claims that Vieira encouraged Brooke Nevels, her former assistant and NBC News employee, to file a sexual assault complaint with the network. Nevels claimed in the book that Lauer had sexually assaulted her while she was working for Vieira at the 2014 Sochi Olympics. For his part, Lauer has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing, though he did issue an apology after his firing. Other employees on the Today Show have since come forward to accuse Lauer of impropriety. The former anchor has yet to comment on his current relationship with Vieira herself, but considering her pivotal role in speaking up for his alleged victims, it's unlikely that this bridge will be unburnt anytime soon. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.